Tonight, the death toll rises after Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel over the weekend. Officials say more than 1,600 have been killed, including 900 Israelis. In response, Israel has mobilized more than 300,000 reservists and launched airstrikes on more than 100 targets in Gaza. For more on the impact locally, Gino Vici sat down with a po political expert and prominent Arab American for his take on the conflict. Gino joins us tonight from Ford Road and Chase. Just to be clear here, when we're talking about a different perspective when it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, we're talking about looking beyond the violence, looking beyond the attacks. And for some, that means addressing the elephant in the room, which is what some consider to be an illegal occupation by the Israeli government in the West Bank and in Gaza. And until that ends, some feel there will never be peace. This is the longest occupation in our modern time. History teaches us that this cannot continue to happen. Occupation has to go away. Osama Siblani, the founder of the Arab American News, a political activist and community leader here in Dearborn says, make no mistake about it, the killing of innocent civilians is completely unacceptable, no matter which side does it. Siblani also says in order to truly understand the tensions between Israelis and Palestinians, he says the world simply cannot ignore the cause of the conflict. And again, he insists the occupation of Palestinian land must end. The core issue is occupation. Occupation. People will not yield to occupation. This is not me saying it, it's history. We Jews want to live in peace. We want to be able to exist and to walk the land that our ancestors walked in. Rabbi Aaron Starr with Temple Sharei Zedek says the images that came out of Israel after Hamas attacked settlements were frightening. This is video of an Israeli soldier's funeral. Rabbi Starr says he was devastated after learning how many lives were lost. Last I heard we were at 800 murdered. We were at 100 kidnapped and over 2,000 injured. These are people who simply want to live their lives in peace, who want to go to work in the morning and come home and be with their families in the evening. And their lives have been uprooted, destroyed by terrorism. My heart breaks for them. Siblani agrees the goal should absolutely be peace, but says he fears things could sadly get much worse. Maybe it's not simple, but it's doable and it should be done. Because without addressing the core issue in here, we're going to see this happening at a larger and harsher scale for years to come. And there is no solution. In Dearborn, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.